Okay, you guys. This is Cindy from Freeze Babies Fiber Frolic. There's something I've been wanting to say for a long time. What's up, fuckers? I had to say that. <laughs> Being as the, um, the topic of this video is uh, something to do with the uh, lovely pink flamingos. Anyhow, um, I'm going to be doing a review of this. Thing right here. I'm gonna sit down for for the rest of the video though. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't do well sitting down. <laughs> I mean, standing up. Okay. I may not be the brightest bulb on the tree sometimes, but uh, generally, I pay better attention to things. Um, I got my I got my flamingo durag, courtesy of Miss Billy. She uh, made these for us, those of us who went to Sarasota back in October. Dang, dang it, dang it, dang it. I got, I get um, moths in my house from because I don't have a screen door. So every time I go out the door, I get more in the house. And of course, I go paranoid because I've got all kinds of natural fiber yarns in the house. And they're going to eat it. My very first pair of socks I made. I, or, no, I guess, I, yeah, my very first pair of socks I made, I still have them, but they got eat, one of them got eaten by a, um, moth, part of the way, a hole I couldn't fix. Anyhow, I digress. Um, okay, so that, about me being the brightest bulb in the tree. Um, a, a while back I had seen an ad for We Crochet, and, um, they had a thing in there for uh, on sale with a learn to fillet crochet flamingo um, with market bag, and I thought, oh great! I mean, I it's been a while since I did I've done a fully fillet crochet, and I thought, oh cool, it's a flamingo design, awesome. Okay, so um. I noticed that somebody um else that. Um, got this same kit. Um, or I, no, I guess I noticed it in, somewhere anyway they noticed it. That doesn't matter. That's not important. What's important is I didn't read the fine print or I didn't read the description. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and I'll show you what my, my complaint is. Okay. I haven't opened this yet. Um, like I said, I've seen other, um, reviews of it or other pictures of it or blah 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 okay here's another thing about me being not the brightest bulb on the tree until recently i had never gotten a catalog from we crochet and i was looking at it and looking at it and i said gosh these are the same yarns that knit picks has i wonder if knit picks changed their name well i don't know if they've changed their name or not but i had never gotten a we crochet I'd never gotten a Wee Crochet um, catalog before, and I didn't even know it was crochet.com. Because I've always just dealt with knit picks for every, you know, all the stuff. I, I, I used to buy a, a lot of more knit picks yarn, and um, I used to always buy the knit picks circular needles. You know, they were they're a good value for the money, and um, knit picks shine sport is uh, one of my favorite yarns of all time. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, that's another thing I didn't realize. They were under the same umbrella, or they changed their name, or blah, blah, woo. So, anyhow, I like this box. Nothing else, I like this box. But, so, this is, um, this is the kit that they had advertised that I did buy. That's all I bought uh, for this catalog. So, I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. All right. I'm going to go ahead and... I'll do it sideways so we can both look at it at the same time. Of course, I could have taken the, could have taken this bag. Oh, okay, this is funny. I got this big, big box. Well, pretty big box. And all this um, paper. And obviously, they're not concerned about... Um, sorry. They're not concerned about, um, you know... The dimensions of the box and 
and how much they're going to have to pay for it, obviously, because they probably get it on as a business. Um, maybe they pay it a bulk price. Okay, so this is where my problem is. You know, I looked at the pad, I looked at it, and I thought, oh, great, it's a flamingo on a, a market bag in filet of crochet. So I, uh, and then here I kind of find out this yarn color is called, okay, um, they don't have it listed on here. Yeah, Flamingo. Can you see that? Okay, this is a great yarn. I mean, I love Kotlin. And it says that it's both We Crochet and Knit Picks on there. Okay, so this is a great yarn. And it's Kot Kotlin. But the color is Flamingo. Well, shoot. If I had known that was the case, I would have just bought my own Kotlin uh, if I really wanted to just make a plain old market bag and, you know, in the, in the, and save myself a little bit of a hassle. Okay. Anyways, the box is great. I can use this for storing something in. I've been using my boxes lately for, um, fabric. Okay. So it does have five. Um, five um, Kotlin in the uh, DK weight, 123 yards, 50 grams. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five of those. Okay. Now, also in the kit, you get a uh, tapestry needle, which I like. I've got a bunch of these. Can you see it? Oh, God, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not even looking to see. See, I got the Kotlin. I'm not even looking to see where it is. I like this holder for it in here too because I put my um I put a lot of my stitch markers in these kind of um containers. Okay. Oh, and then it comes with another I can always use another scissors. Okay, and then they give you a code to save 20% on your next purchase. So I'm gonna hang on to that. I probably will use it and here's the little book on learn to fillet crochet and then of course you got the actual um, picture on there now it's got a bunch of different things you could use um, fillet crochet like here's the um, the actual sample of what they made out of it a heart oh, that's cute well anyways I'm not gonna look at the book right now and then in here, I mean, this comes with a lot of stuff. I think at the time, I think I paid, I think this was $35 for the kit. I mean, with all the little tchotchkes that are in here, it's worth it, you know. And what's this say? Um, a wooden crochet hook. And, oh, this is nice. It's a nice... Uh, Sepia, saffron and sepia color block pouch. We carry notions and essentials. So that's nice. And it's, yeah, this would be good for keeping notions in. Very cool. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. And it's got the little, uh, wee crochet, um, logo on there okay anyhow so that's cool and then you also well, let me get rid of this thing my cat will be happy to have it back she's sleeping on it i was sleeping on it and um okay so let's see what else we have in here so i think value wise i think you know this isn't bad um because it, but it was on sale. I don't remember the exact amount I paid for it. Um, I think it was 35 or something like that. I think it was regularly like 65 or something like that. So, I mean, all these extra gadgets and stuff are worth it. And there's one more gadget here. It's a chart keeper. Which, if you do fillet crochet, it's going to come in handy. And it's, it's a magnetic. And it's got the nice pretty blue and I believe you can open it up 
and you could use it this way so it, if it's an 8 by 10 piece of paper and then they have um, actually this is very nice they have all the extra um, little magnets so that's actually pretty good it can you can it'll you can open it to 13 by 9 or if you want to just use it on this side six by nine okay so that's not bad and even if you don't you know if you don't need a chart if you want to hold your you want to hold your pattern without it getting all wrinkled or whatever which uh, would be i think i might do that in my um for myself because i you know i take my patterns and fold them up and stick them in the bag with me but that might be an option so so that's yeah that's not a bad deal i guess um, again, uh, I'm sitting here complaining about the fact that it, it was for a flamingo, but you know what? You could use, um, you could chart your own flamingo very easily. So I guess in the, in the long run, this is a good value for what I paid for it. Of course, do you think I could find the, uh, receipt, original receipt? No. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Anyways. I think it's a good value uh, for, I think I paid 35 bucks for it. Anyhow, that's my rant for today. I will see you guys soon. Oh, also, I just had to get my gratuitous doll plug in here. See, she's got her flamingo pajamas on. Bye, y'all. Hi, Trisha. Good night.